In a far, far away land, long time ago, there was a kingdom with a bored and lonely king. One day, while sleeping on the throne, he had this weird vision. Yes, your majesty. Write down what I say and announce it to the people of the land. Yes, your majesty. Hear ye, hear ye, good people of the land, listen to the announcement of His Majesty the King. I shall give half of my kingdom to the person who can tell a story that I admit to be a lie. People from neighboring villages start to pour into the castle to claim half the kingdom. Please send in the first contestant, a shepherd from Upper Estate, son of Bold Peter. Okay, what's your story? Long may your majesty reign. You see, my father had a cane which he used to reach out from here and steer the stars in the sky. That's very possible. My grandfather has a pipe. He used to put one end of it in his mouth and stretch the other up to the sun to light it. You may go. Next! A tailor from Lower Estate, son of Curly Hamayak. Okay, what's your story? I am sorry, Your Majesty, to have come so late. I had to come earlier, but there was heavy storm yesterday and the lightning rent the sky. I've been patching it up. Oh, very commendable, but you haven't patched it very well. See, it rained a little again this morning. Go and patch it again. A peasant from Orta village carrying an empty bag on his shoulder. What do you want, my good man? You owe me a bag of gold. I have come for it. A bag of gold? That's a lie. I do not owe you anything. You are right, your majesty. It is a lie. Then give me half of your kingdom. No, no, my mistake. It was not a lie, my good man. So, I am telling the truth. You owe me a bag of gold. Give it to me. Give him a bag of gold and let him go.